Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As predicted, or as I've been mentioning for quite some time, <clears throat> certain events are now starting to come to pass. Quite a while ago, I briefly talked about the coming food shortages, and I recommended following uh, the Ice Age Farmer on YouTube as he's been keeping a close eye on this for quite some time about the build up of various countries not having crops and about the export bans from some of the world's leading manufacturers of, or producers of crops. For example, the Brazil-Argentina issue, the China-Vietnam issue. As can be seen, this is really starting to hit home for those in the UK. And there are multiple events going on, or which have already happened, which are leading up to a prepper's worst nightmare. Brexit has been a, a major cause, as has COVID, as has the solar minimum, and also allowing corporations to basically, and supermarkets to basically decide what is produced and where where it should be sold and for how much. Local self-reliance has gone out the window in most areas. And a globalist chain has been set up in its place to benefit the few shareholders of such. And now it's starting to crack Utilities. Many companies in the last week have gone bankrupt in the UK because of the increase in prices of electricity and natural gas, the lack of carbon dioxide production, which is extremely ironic, as that seems to be the main focus of the green movement's climate change issue. The price hikes which we're about to face are staggering for electricity and gas. Staggering. In fact, Warren Buffett's warning of hyperinflation has already been seen in the construction industry. Wood concrete, steel, their prices just continue daily. Combine this with transport issues. The UK is saying it is missing 100,000 HGV drivers, truck drivers. Transport is a major issue all over the world especially transport to and from our main producer, China, especially concerning containers and container ships and container storage. Container prices have, ridden, have risen from 2,000 pounds, euros, last year to now between 15 and 20,000 per container. If you can get a container, and if you can find a place to dock it and store it. This means most of the goods that we are used to buying are currently not available. China this week 
I had a conversation with my friend Martin, who deals with China, and I became privy to some information regarding the Chinese situation. This week they have implemented new laws about factory production, which we are all reliant on. This means not only will we be paying a lot more for the goods we import, but we're not going to be able to get the goods we import because production will have been reduced so massively. What this means is we are going to be completely reliant on our Asian neighbours at whatever price they want and at whatever delivery deadline they want. This does lead into positive territory for us though. And I shall come to that in the next video. It's getting to the point where we all need to sit down and think about our future and come up with a remedy for the situation our corrupt politicians and corporate overlords have put us in. There is also a massive financial crisis hanging over us, which many of you may not be aware of. The 2008 crisis was caused by the Lehman Brothers. I believe they were in debt for 50 billion and this had a knock-on effect which collapsed the financial markets all over the world. There is a developer in China who currently is in debt for 300 billion. 300 billion. And when they declare bankruptcy, the effects, it will be like a tsunami through the financial and mortgage systems around the world. That's another fun thing coming. This winter, you need to start preparing now. You've got a couple of days until, a day until October. You need to start preparing now. Get whatever food you can. Fuel, good luck. British politicians are very happy to say that people are acting like children and there is no problem and instead talk about the 10 point green plan but there is a huge fuel problem and it will get worse get yourself stocked up on food long term food Prepare some means of heating for yourselves and for elderly relatives and neighbours. A few years ago, many old people died because they had a choice between heating and food. Make sure you have a means of heating them and feeding them. This winter, I think, will be quite brutal. We're in for some pretty shocking times. We really are. It's as though everything is coming together at the same time, the perfect storm. Now, a lot of this I know is due to natural reasons, solar minimum and floods uh, droughts destroying crops 
but there are certain people, certain groups of people who will use this for their own interests. You've already had a taste of what they can do when there's a pandemic regarding your own and your family's personal lives. This may be the next step. The World Economic Forum's plan for 2030 not being able to afford everything you want and having to rent when you need it is actually part of this and with the price of goods looking to escalate ridiculously it's one step closer to old Klaus's dream this is very negative information but as any prepper will tell you, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Now, you need to prepare for what's coming because it's already started. But like I said earlier in the video, this does give us room to discuss a remedy. And I really think it's about time we started discussing a remedy for the global situation. I really do. As always, be free.